welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy. Thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. I will be going over a few fragrances that I will be decluttering from my fragrance perfume collection. So if you're interested to see which ones I will be parting ways with, keep watching. Okay, girl. So like I said, I am in spring cleaning, fragrance decluttering mode right now. Um, I have a few fragrances and you will see, you probably wonder, why haven't you used it all already? Or why haven't you already just gotten rid of it? It's been years that you've had some of these fragrances. So there's a little story for each one of them. But anyway, I wanted to um, do a slight declutter as I'm curating my fragrance collection and being more intentional about which fragrances I pick up and actually where I am getting rid of some that is just frankly taking up space. So with that being said, let's jump into the first one. I don't feel bad about decluttering them, maybe. But anyways, the first one is going to be Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. As you can see, I did get some wear out of it. It is an eau de toilette. And for me, I am a parfum and a straight kind of girl. I like long-lasting, heavy hitters, RBE type scents. For the most part, I have some soft fragrances, but I like long lasting. And for me, this one, I'm going to say it almost performed like a body spray. Like it was not long lasting. Maybe after an hour or two, I did not even realize I had on a fragrance. So for me, it just didn't perform very well. And I'm not using it, you know, as you can see. I don't know. I mean, it's no need for me to try to make a case, but yes. Yeah. So this one, I am my first one that I'm getting rid of or decluttering from my collection is the Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. Let me know. I know there's an intense for this one. Let me know if that one, if you have it, if it performs better or if you like it. It smells great. It is definitely a spring, summer specifically scent. So it would have been great for this time of year, but yeah, it just does not perform well on my skin. So Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. This next one I talked about in a recent like fragrance tag video and it is going to be Gucci Memoir Don Odoir. Girl, I don't know. <sighs> TikTok made me buy it. It is a very mature scent. Probably something I could give my mom, honestly. Um, again, did try the juice. Did not like it. It was pulling like a very green almost like a plant I don't know um but to me it's very mature not where I am in my fragrance journey right now I'm more of that fruity fun powdery musk-esque type scents right now so yes definitely a TikTok made me buy probably one of the only recommendations for TikTok where I've been a little disappointed in just smell, performance, all those things. So yes, another declutter fragrance. Next up is going to be Burberry Brit for Her. Move over a little bit. Again, I'm giving it a try. I am just not pulling for it. It's too soft. It's skin-like for me. So when I put it on, it just, that's it. Um, not very powerful, not potent. The sillage is not there. The, but it smells so good. But it's just a very skin-like fragrance for me. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have the um, Burberry Her. And that one I love. It's long-lasting. It's great. But this one, it, it just doesn't do anything for me again great smell beautiful fragrance it would be awesome for this time of year i even got a big boy and i really rarely buy big bottles unless that's the only option so maybe that was the case with this one but i just didn't it just didn't do it for me so yeah we're going to say goodbye to burberry brit for her the next one is going to be victor and rolf Bon Bon Eau de Parfum. So I love this one. Um, I just, in my mind, where is 
in like the hierarchy of my fragrances, I don't necessarily gravitate down there often. So I could easily obviously move it up, but I just, you could kind of see a little bit. Um, I just don't gravitate towards it. I wear it and then it's like on to the next. It's not like a memory often. Now, I love Victor and Raw Flower Balm. I will always repurchase that. But this one for me, I would just, I like it. It's sweet. It's powdery. It's like so good. But I guess not good enough, girl. <laughs> so I, I am going to declutter this. Part of me is kind of going back and forth like, should I not? Should I not? Yeah, I am. Because there is a Victor and Roth that I do want to grab. So we'll just basically be replacing one for another. But yes, this one, if you have this one, let me know your thoughts. I feel like it's almost teetering. The line is a little too sweet for me. But I could, you know, just my opinion. So let me know what you think about this one. Victor and Roth Bon Bon. Okay, girl, that brings us to the end of this video. If you have stayed to the end, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Let me know what you are decluttering for the spring, making room for new fragrances, or truly curating and being intentional with your fragrances, which is always the goal. We buy a few and just because it's a trend and then we realize it doesn't perform well or for whatever reason we need to declutter it. So I'm interested to know what are you decluttering for the spring? Let me know all the things. What are you making room for? That's another thing. Um, I'll be doing a wish list for the summer as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so that you know every time I upload a video. Okay, girl. Talk to you later.